it just goes round and around and around and around. But it's, it's again, it's about funk, it's about how you feel and interpret those notes. You can play them... Yeah. And it might need that in a tune, but I like to get into the music that I play and certainly feel the music I play and give it a bit more attitude and a bit more meaning. So I might use different techniques like we discussed last week where I'll use palm muting techniques and, and Primarily, watch this hand if you can, the, the plucking hand, and see some extra ghost notes like Steve was talking to, to imply rhythm that necessarily isn't there but can give it a certain feel and a bit more momentum and drive. So have a look at Max, you see that? Yeah? And you can play that as quiet as you want, you know? And it's just got... Remember what we talked about playing in the pocket as well. Really sit those notes exactly where they need to be. Yeah, it, it, it depends, but you've got to give yourself options with this tune because at the heart of it, you've got those two lines to play as a bass player. Okay, if you're talking note-wise, we, we recognise or, or um, sound out the, the, the colour and sound of the B-flat minor 7 chord with root note, flat 7, an octave. Okay, root, flat 7, octave. Okay, and we do a little chromatic run from the 6th to the root of the next chord, so to E-flat, and we sound that out with 5 and flat 7, which is a great way of sounding out that chord, you know, leaning on the flat seven. Yeah, really cool note choice, man. And it's like, this is done on a synth, yeah, but we, we're backing it up with the bass part. Um, nice, excellent. Okay, but moving on from that, it, we can also add embellishments further harmonically. You might have heard when we um, kick off with the solo, yeah, it's our job. Steve and I, yeah, we're keeping the backbeat, we're keeping the groove going, the momentum there, but we're also constantly listening. We're listening to accents, we're listening to pushes, we're listening to note choice as well. For example, as a bass player, um, you can recognise again or, or, or lay down the sound of that B flat minor 7 chord. Can you play one? Nice. With a with a B flat Dorian scale. And the reason I'm using that is because it's got that raised sixth or the note of G, which then carries through into the E flat seven chord. Debbie McGee, lovely. Yeah, so. But I could pick and choose notes from each of those to embellish the line. take it as far as you want but you've got to be listening and reacting to the other instruments about uh, the, reacting to the other things the bits of music that's going on around you okay so the first thing to do with this tune though is just be able to get that groove to just sit and sit so hard and sit so well with the other musicians in the band you know and it's, it's one of the most satisfying things to play you know there's a little riff in there unison back to the riff but it's you know that's just kind of an embellishment of a B flat minor arpeggio really um, and that's about all there is to it but again with funk give each note purpose give each note feel and make sure you're in the pocket and grooving <laughs>